Hi, I'm Josh with the Armadillo Trap. Today I would like to talk to you about unboxing, assembling, and setting an armadillo trap. Okay, we're going to unbox the trap. When you receive your trap, it'll look like this. The harness, the string, the trigger, and the harness bars will all be laid down on top of the trap. You'll have instructions with my card. It has our website, the phone number. You can always get in contact with me via that phone number or go to the website and find a complete list of all your questions. If you ordered an unscented trap, you will have a piece of paper that has a picture of an, an example of the use of guides. This is in here, however, if you order to send a trap, this is not necessary. When you go to assemble your trap, you'll need to break the zip tie or cut the zip tie that is holding the rods to the trigger. When the rods are loose, you have pre-drilled holes on the top of the trap. Simply insert each rod. I like to use a hammer, anything will work. Basically you want to tap the rods until they're properly seated. It'll make a different sound when it hits the bottom and you can feel it hit the bottom. You'll want the rods to be fully seated so that the height of the harness is correct. Now all we have to do is take the harness bar with the pre-drilled holes and set it on top of the rods. Bump it on the top, make sure it is properly seated. Next, and very important, is setting the length of the string. One side is loose, one side is tight. It is very important that the length of the string is set properly. If the length of the string is not right, you could have issues with your doors dropping. I recommend to pull the string taut with the doors in the down position and then to give yourself one to two inches of slack from the top of the harness to the top of the trigger. Take a pair of pliers and simply mash the crimp. However, if you do not have pliers, you can simply pull the crimp off, tie a simple knot, and you're done. All of our traps have excess string so that in the event that this string does draw up, which it will in the weather, you can simply loosen the string on this end, give yourself slack, retighten it. Or if necessary, you can simply cut off the string and replace the entire string. It is just 8 inch nylon cord.